Get up, get focused, and get into your passion. Make the most of every opportunity everywhere we go. Now, yesterday I told you a little bit about the, the lines that I always intro with. Yesterday I told you about get up. Today I want to talk about get focused. See, I found in my life that I am plagued by so many distractions. It is so easy for me to get distracted from my purpose. Whether it's at work, at play, at home, out for a run, I get so easily distracted. And so it's so hard for me to keep on focus and to get things done that I was made to get done, touch people's lives, invest in people's lives, because it's so hard to stay away from distractions. But then I was introduced to a passage in scripture, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. And it said, we must keep intense focus on Christ Jesus, the author and perfecter of our love. Focus. The word that's used in the Greek is a word, aphoreo. And what it means, it gives a picture of somebody that's riding a horse and they've placed blinders on the horse. So the horse can't see to the right or to the left, can only see straight ahead. That's an intense focus, a tunnel vision as to what is ahead. That's the word that's used in Hebrews 12 too. That's what Christ has called us to, to focus on Him and on God in such a way that we block out all the distractions and focus on Christ. And when we do that, on this journey that I told you yesterday, it's time to get up and get on your journey. And then when we are able to get focused, get aphoreo, then there is no limit to how effective we can be. So it's great to get up and get on your journey. But if you spend your whole journey distracted by things that are less important, then you miss the purpose of your journey. Let me give you an example. Yesterday, I was so frustrated by the Oklahoma football game. I just can't hardly stand it when they lose, and especially to lose in that fashion. But all my life, I've allowed that to distract me from the purpose at hand. And I can't continue to do that. And that's just a simple example, and to some people, a silly example to let a game that a bunch of teenagers are playing distract you. But it's real to me. We all have our distractions. And so every day is about learning how to overcome those distractions and to focus on the purpose that God has placed me here for so that I can be effective and not allow my relationships with my family, not allow my opportunities to be wasted and be lost. So it's difficult, but every day we have to learn that intense focus, that aphoreo, because the opportunities are there, but we miss them without focus. So that's why we get up and that's why we get focused. Moeo, everywhere we go.